Hey there, comic book fans. I'm back from the comic shop again this week. Uh, pretty light week for me at the comic shop this week. Uh, got away only spending $20, $19. Uh, <laughs> five comics. Three were on my pull list, and two I pulled off the wall, just uh, off the shelves, just because I was looking for a couple extra things to read, because why not? We'll start with my top of the printer. Museum books that I was looking at this week. Pulled out a scary Rachel Rising, Terry Moore cover, just kind of a hand. And this one was like so dark, it just kind of blended in. I didn't see this one as much, nearly as I saw this one, which is Captain Marvel 43, and it's Al Milgram inked by Bernie Wrightson. I don't, I don't, this has been in my collection all these years, but I don't remember it. Pretty interesting combo there with, uh, Drax the Destroyer getting old Marvel in a chokehold. But yeah, these two I had out on the top of the printer all week. Uh, give them a look so I can look at their covers. And now we'll put them back on the shelf and pick two new ones. Let's see what I get this week. This is one of the ones um, on my pull list. Joseph Schmalke's Seven Years in Darkless, The Shamir Worm. This is a one-shot special. Sometimes I'm like, you know, you got to keep your eyes open for this stuff. Because I, I have Seven Years of Darkness on my pull list. But then it kind of ended, and I th and I was like, are they doing another uh, issue? Are they doing another uh, series? Or no, it was a one-shot? So I, this is by uh, CEX, which stands for something, I best, bet. And this is the one where um, it's like a, a dark wizard school. Where every, I don't know, hundred years the wizard school opens its doors and people go in, you know, children from families go in, but only like a handful of them survive wizard school. And I think the Shamir Worm is one of the, I don't know, mystical creatures or something. So I don't know uh, what what's going on. Let's see, is there other uh, in stores from CEX? What do we got from CE? I said Stud, The Silencers, The Definitive Edition, Hell, Nebraska, and Space Core, The Collected Edition. Okay. CEXComics.com if you want to check them out. But I, you know, jumped on. I, I first tried some of Joseph Schmalke's stuff last year, the year before. Uh, we had these sort of space stories that were pretty cool. So now I'm doing some horror stories and I'm enjoying them. Then we've got uh, the second issue of Rick Remender and Bengals, Napalm Lullaby. I like the first issue, but I only ordered the second issue, so if I didn't put it on my pull list yet, I was just like, you know what, I'll, I'll try the second issue and see if that grabs me. Kind of like the art. Um, the story is kind of interesting. It started out as an as a Superman riff in like the very first six pages of the book, but it was some like religious cult that found Superman or they found a baby. And then the, all of a sudden the story skips to like 40 years later when this cult runs the whole world. And this, this, I think they were brother and sister. I don't remember this duo or trying to steal something from them. I think, I don't know. We'll, We'll see what is like. Rick Remender has a way of like every six issues changing the whole basic concept of some of his indie books. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what direction Napalm Lullaby goes in. If I like this one, I'll put it on my pull list. Otherwise, I just bought two issues. We'll see. Then we've got Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees, number five. Number four was the first issue I ever bought of this. And then, I think it was last week, I got issues two and three, re, you know, reprints of them, third, second and third printings. Uh, still have to track down a first issue of whatever printing. But it's a horror story, but done in this, you know, I get, I don't know, what, what would you call this style? This children's book style? This Winnie the Pooh sort of style? I mean, I just know, I didn't really look at this cover. That duck has got his brain all caught up. But there's like a, a battle going on between two serial killers <laughs> in this strange stuffed animal world. So 
like I said, I heard good things about it. People on YouTube recommended it to me. Picked up issue four, liked it. So now it's on my pull list. Here's another thing I just put, picked up off the shelves. The Bloody Dozen, A Tale of the Shrouded College, issue number four. Never read this before. Cover caught my eye. It was okay. But then I flipped it open, and I liked the art inside. Uh, the art inside was... I thought the art inside was pretty cool. And it's by... Um, is it Colin Bunn who's writing it? Who's? Oh, no, Sewell. Uh, it's by Charles Sewell, is the writer. Alberto Jimenez Albuquerque is the artist. Uh, Rachel Rosenberg is the colorist. Chris Crank is the letterer. There's our credits. I have no idea what it's about. Shrouded College. Maybe it's another wizard college story. Uh, either way, oh, look, there's some... Some pages in the back. Let's... Must be a short story, then, if that starts there. I don't know how many pages it is. Let's see. The story ends pretty close to the middle. <laughs> I didn't notice that when I picked it up, but we'll give it a read, see how it is. I just, I'm just looking for something to pick. And here's the other one I got on issue number one of The Principles of Necromancy. And this one I saw on Sleepy Reader's... Uh, review last week and he wasn't too fond of it it was a little too gratuitously violent bloody and violent for him but i was like you know what i i think i'm in the mood for gratuitously bloody and violent <laughs> so i picked this one up uh once again i flipped it open and liked the art i have zero idea what it's about oh there's a there's something on the back let's read it set in the fantasy universe set in a fantasy fantasy universe bereft of magic the Principles of Necromancy follows Dr. Jacob Eyes, one of a small number of scientific physicians who have set their minds to the task of curing the Ill ills of the world. But, but the young Dr. Eyes isn't satisfied to simply cure the sick or be known as a wizard to curious peasants. No, he sets his sights on defeating the only malady doctors are expressly forbidden from curing, death itself. Who's doing this book? Writers Jackson Lanzig and Colin Relly. The artist is Canon Winkle. Colorist J. Photos. The letterer Sean Lee. I don't know about their choice in fonts. Um, who is this by? Magma Comics? Who's the publisher? Magma Comics with an X. I don't think I've ever heard of them. But, like I said, I saw it on Sleepy Reader's channel, and I saw it on the stands. I was like, all right, I'll give that a read. I can, I, I can go for some over-the-top gratuitous violence this week. Uh, let me show you. I finished my short coat. It's going to make its debut last, next week. I think it's raining this week, so uh, commuting. You know. So there's the back of it. I finished up. There's... This is the sleeve I finished up before I had that cold. And here's the sleeve I finished up after I had that cold. This is the last one I had to get done. And the last thing I did was put this light blue trim along the collar. So that light blue trim, I think, was the last thing I did. Away. Oops, I also added a little... I had these uh, art wasps done, but I added a little light blue to the line. Now I think it's ready. Maybe I'll add more stuff some other day, but I'm done with it for now. It's ready to for me to wear it out in the world. <laughs> Alrighty, so there you go. A little bit of artwork, some comic books, and you guys have a good week out there.